What's up guys? Hey, just wanted to let you know an update or it's more than an update. Got the bolt in. This is what it is. It's a 13 millimeter little bevel on it. Once I saw what it actually was, I, act, I have a few of these in my nuts and bolts bin. So I was able to put this back on. I torqued it down. Now, uh, now I'm ready to put it back together, get the time belt on and start the car and see if there's oil leaks gone. Some of you are asking what, what break-in oil I'm using. I am using, it's called Amsoil break-in oil. It's red. Just use it for about four to 500 miles, then change it out. And All right guys, I'm gonna be installing the crank sprocket. Don't forget, get a new crank bolt. This goes on with 200 newton meters plus 180 degrees. That's a hefty number. If you wanna do it in foot pounds, it's about 148 foot pounds plus 200, if you have a torque wrench that goes that high. Also, don't forget the little washer. You need this in there. Hundred and eighty degrees seems like a tall order on this. Let's we'll see if I could do it. About ninety. There you have it, 200 newton meters, or about 147, 148 foot-pounds of torque, plus 180 degrees. Now, I will be installing the, the timing belt. Well, I need to fix this stuff first. But I will be installing the timing belt. I already have a video out on that, so make sure you hit up on the timing belt video to watch how all this is done if you want all the specs and uh, all the parts and stuff that you need to get and the right tools make sure you watch that video all right don't forget those are loose again i explained that in the time and belt video So I spun the motor, cam bars back in, everything lines up, good to go. Got the car back together. How many of you think it's going to spill oil all over the ground again when I start it? Have a little faith in me. I think I fixed the problem. So yeah, start it, see what happens, hope for the best. Hope. That was the problem with the oil leak and there wasn't any other issues and let's go from there. The car's running. The exhaust is ridiculously loud. It's been about 15 minutes. 
have not seen any leaks per se. You know, I get smoke. The lifters are making a little bit of noise, but I, I think a lot of that will go away once I actually start driving the car around and put a load on this motor. Other than that, guys, it, it's looking good. Pretty stoked about it. Until my next video, take care.